Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. So today we are talking about Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, if you are not familiar with who Phoebe Bridgers are, is I should say, uh, let's bring her up real quick. So this is Phoebe Bridgers. She was born 1994, 26. Uh, years old, so fairly young artist still. Uh, she was born in America, singer, songwriter, guitarist from Los Angeles, California. She also made her solo debate uh, with the studio album Stranger in the Alps, uh, followed by The Punisher, which earned Bridger widespread critical acclaim uh, with four Grammy Award nominations, including Best New Artist. I don't believe she won Best New Artist, but she was nominated for it, which is still pretty cool. Uh, Bridger is also known for her membership in the musical group uh, Biogenius, with Julian Baker and Lucas Dykus and Better Oblivion uh, Community Center with Connor uh, Oberst. So I didn't know who she was initially. I'm just seeing who that was as well. Uh, but apparently, I believe she played with the Who at one point in time. Um, and I, I was just kind of looking her up, you know, listening to some of her songs, and she's got some pretty decent music. Um, you know, it, it's definitely kind of got that kind of, uh, folk rock, emo-y, alternative vibe going on. And, uh, she and Dan Electro <laughs> are in the news, uh, because of this little clip right here. We'll go ahead and play this. Fast forward, there we go. And I don't know about you, but I have not seen a good a good guitar smash in a while. This was on Saturday Night Live, so this isn't typically a place where I would, you know, see one of these things. I, I don't typically, uh, you know, see these things on like a late night show, even though they do have those uh, occasionally. But uh, the, there was a Bridgers doing her very own London Calling, attempting to smash her Dan Electro 56 baritone guitar to bits as fog surrounded her feet. Uh, the skeleton pearls on her dress, blah, 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 they just described it. Uh, why did this woman destroy this guitar on Saturday Night Live? Read the tweet that ignited a heated discussion across Twitter uh, over the over the weekend. I mean, I didn't care much for the song either, but the, uh, that seemed extra. Many people quickly came to Bridger's defense, including Jason Isabel, who pointed out that the guitar was relatively cheap model worth around $85. Uh, now, I don't know if this was like an off-brand Dan Electro, but uh, I... I keep seeing this $85 thing thrown around a lot, and um, I am just going to show you there are two types of guitars that this possibly could be. So for starters, it could be, the they're saying it's a 56, uh, but this is what it most resembles. This is $600 right here. This is directly off the Dan Electro website. Uh, and then this new, well, I know it's a left-handed baritone, but it's the same style of guitar. Uh, the baritone goes for $549, so, so this is probably about the same price uh, right-handed. So I'm not really sure where they're getting the, uh, the, the $85 part of it. Um, I kind of want to look up the guitar uh, exactly what it is. So let's take a look. Dan Electro 50, Dan No. Ah, okay. So it is an off-brand. They're calling it a Dano. So that doesn't make me feel as bad. But uh, she ended up, in my opinion, she ended up doing more damage uh, to the. Uh, yeah, these are still four hundred dollars. So I don't, I don't know where the heck they're getting eighty-five dollars from. Um, there's a Silverstone version but um I, I can't find this guitar anywhere for 85 dollars so if anybody knows about it that would be really cool because i personally can't find this guitar i would say on the cheapest end i would say 300 dollars. but i mean it's it's not a massively expensive guitar and if you're a star 
Um, you, you know, you're one of the higher ups. You got some money to burn, and, and you want to throw a good show. Why not break a three hundred dollar guitar? You know, it's to, to the. To, I mean, that that's a decent little chunk of change in my pocket. But to these guys, you know, it's it's part of the show. It's part of the experience. Uh, plenty of guitarists have broke guitars before. So why can't she break a guitar? Uh, yes, it is okay for a woman to smash a guitar. I don't even know why this was a question. Of course it's okay for a woman to smash a guitar. You don't see a lot. And if she's keeping a rock and roll alive, you know, that's pretty pretty neat. Not only is she keeping a rock and roll alive, uh, she's bringing Saturday Night Live back into the news, which um, I haven't heard too much from Saturday Night Live in a while. Uh, it's It seems like one out of every... 200 shows for Saturday Night Live, they have an extremely good sketch uh, or something, or want a really, really good joke. I personally don't uh, really watch uh, Saturday Night Live all that often, but not only did it bring her name into it, so Phoebe Bridgers, now that's going to be more of a household name. I, I had no idea who she was up until uh, today when I looked her up. Saw this video, I think it was on Yahoo or something like there, so dating, dating myself a little bit uh, with the older email I was checking. But she brought Dan Electro back into the news, which is great publicity for them. Uh, and they even encouraged her uh, to do it. So Dan Electro actually gave Phoebe Bridgers their blessings to smash the guitar on Saturday Night Live. Uh, you nerds. Um, so th this article is more saying that the guitar possibly was faked or just a cheapy guitar they slapped together to purposely break. Uh, same along with the monitor, because she was definitely doing, I hate to say she was doing a lot more damage to the monitor than the guitar, but she was definitely doing a lot more damage to the monitor. And then the guitar, if we go back to the video here, if I fast forward, or go back, I should say, a little bit, if it lets me. Come on. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see, it's it's a little bit hard to see because it is darker, but there's like so many dents and dings in the modder, the guitar isn't broken. I was hoping, she, you know, I was, I was rooting for her to break the guitar. But, uh, so you, you don't always break the guitar, we've seen it with, um, uh, Billy Joe Armstrong, you know, Kurt Cobain and Nirvana, those are kind of the main two uh, that come to mind. Re more recently, I should say, that break a lot of guitars. And heck, you know, Kurt Cobain, that was, what, 20, 26 years ago, her age, 94, uh, he ended up dying. But um, they encouraged her to do it because they know it was a cheaper guitar. They sl Maybe they slapped something together for her purposely because they knew she wanted to break the guitar at the end of her set. And uh, they were more than happy to supply her with it because now they're in the news. She's in the news. Dan Lecter is in the news. Uh, and I can guarantee you a lot of people uh, are out there wanting to buy guitars. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I, I've seen tweets that are terrible where it's like, oh, why did you smash a perfectly good guitar? And you always get that group of people with everybody. And at, at the end of the day, there's good guitars and there's bad guitars. And if she smashed a bad one, I'm really not that concerned about it. Oh, you could donate it to a student, blah, 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 student. Yeah. You know how many people have destroyed cars and perfectly good motor vehicles uh, and movies and buildings and who knows what, what else uh, and movies all for the case of your entertainment and showmanship. And, and, and that's what it is. You you know, it's the, it's the cost of business. Uh, it's the cost of some good sh of a good show, some good showmanship. Uh, and I don't mind somebody, you know, taking a Squire that, or a first act guitar. If you're familiar with those, I could, those are the Walmart brand guitars. Uh, if some of you were old enough to remember them, when Walmart used to sell guitars, it was called First Act, uh, and they were just terrible, straight straight out of the box. They were just hot garbage, uh, terrible. And I, I would not mind seeing somebody smash the crap out of one of those things. Uh, on, on live TV or during a concert. I've never seen a guitar smash during a concert. It's something that's something I have always personally wanted to see uh, during a concert. And uh, with uh, la last season was not happening anyway, maybe this season we'll get to see a guitar smash if I go to a hardcore show or something. Uh, but uh, it's 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 slim. So uh, check Dan Electro out. They got some decent guitars, definitely more in the mid range price. If you're looking to used, you can definitely find one for around three hundred dollars. Uh, the most famous, of course, of the Dan Electro guitars is going to be the 59 uh, because this is the guitar Jimmy Page used in the song Cashmere, and that's where everybody knows Dan Electro from. I hate to say it, but uh, I'm happy somebody else is making Dan Electro famous because he's really the only person I know that played a Dan Electro guitar, uh, and it was mainly for that one song too because it was in a different tuning. Uh, Dad Gab is the tuning, D A D G A B, I believe. Dad Gab, yep. Uh, for Cashmere, and uh, other than Jimmy Page, I really don't know uh, how many people have actually picked up one of these. I'm sure there's a handful of artists, and you let me know. You can let me know in the comments down below uh, what other artist 
use this particular guitar. Uh, but overall, you know, decent singer, decent rock star in my opinion. You know, she's another, she's probably another up and comer. I look forward to seeing more of her uh, in the future and uh, listening to some more of her songs, you know, over the next couple of days. I, I want to go through a couple of her albums. Uh, I've only listened to, like, two or three of her songs, mainly the two songs she played on uh, Saturday Night Live, but uh, she seems like a decent singer, decent guitarist. Uh, she's got, I mean, she, she's more of a rhythm guitarist. She's got the baritone guitar. Uh, if you're not familiar with kind of all of her equipment, I looked up her equipment board. She does some acoustic stuff. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's kind of a mix of different things. You know, you kind of got like that. Here, this is what Wikipedia describes it as, indie rock, uh, indie folk, emo folk. There's kind of hints of pop in there, too. Uh, but it's all all in good fun, all in good music, and I'm, I'm just happy to see, you know, an actual real live instrument on stage at this point in time. Uh, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar and music related videos. This is Gray's Guitars, I am Steve Gray, and as always, have a good one.